Perhaps in hindsight, I should have closed my door and not seen anybody for that 90 minutes to two hours, uh, but I didn't. If we say to you, go straight home, do not have contact with anybody, we expect that to happen. Slightest of symptoms, please make sure you get tested and stay home. Otherwise, it, you will be followed up, you will be checked on. Absolutely, no, they'll, they'll absolutely have to self-isolate. Well, New South Wales has been successful because we've taken a very hard line. People need to know that this is not a joke. You need to take it seriously. Every day, health is asking people to stay home and isolate. Every day, we're asking people to take responsibility and do the right thing. To get tested and stay home and isolate, because otherwise, you'll be compromising the health of your family, of your friends, of your loved ones. Can I be very clear on this? There is no exemption for anybody. Crime Stoppers, Stoppers has had a number of calls increasing day by day from people who are rightly dobbing in someone who they know should be self-isolating. So are you going to change the New South Wales guidelines now? Because they say that if you have a test, you've got to self-isolate. Absolutely not. Why would I change the guidelines? Well, because, because you're not following them. Do myself. So you do accept that you didn't follow your own guidelines? Yeah, I accept that in hindsight I should have kept my door shut for the 90 minutes or the two hours until I was waiting for the result. I do accept that and in hindsight I should have done that.